Just looking ahead to the summer quickly, we'll get back to the playoffs and the, and the current roster. But Brunson, extension eligible, our old buddy, old, the operative word there, Steve Popper, was on a show a couple <laughs> weeks ago. And he said uh, he was hearing that Brunson would be open to an extension. I've heard similar, uh, you know, just. You think he'd be yeah, open to an extension be, to get a massive he, race to stay with the Knicks? Well, no, I feel no, no, pretty no, confident no, no, he's no. going to do that. Tim, hold on. He could be a free agent and make a lot more money. As you know, so yeah, I know. There's I that. Know. He'd be leaving a lot of money on the table. I think he's open to it. I think, you know, uh, from just right now, what I had heard is they don't. He doesn't really care about you know being a headline money making player as a free agent. He's not caught up in that stuff. He he likes it here. He really wants to see this organization keep going in this direction and to have success with him here. So I think they're open to it, but I think there are other factors at play beyond the money that will, uh, will come into it, but it'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens. There. I, w- I will say really quick, if they are able to sign Jalen Brunson for a dollar less than the max with the, with the way the new rules are coming into effect over the next couple of years, every dollar that you save, no matter how much money you have as an organization means a lot from a flexibility standpoint going forward with your roster to make moves, to add players, to make trades where you can aggregate salary, a lot of different things. So uh, certainly Jalen Brunson isn't going anywhere. I think we all know that he's going to be a Nick for a very long time. Um, But if he is open to signing for less than the absolute max he can get, the Knicks should do it because it's both going to be a good contract for them. And it's also going to give them a better chance of staying out of the second apron giving them the ability to still be positioned with all their assets and all their draft picks and stuff to be able to go get, you know, the next true blue superstar player that becomes available. And and the money is substantial, the difference, because he's not making much in that final year because I think his contract, current contract is descending. So I think yes. it's a hundred million. So it's a hundred million dollar difference between what he can sign in an extension. And if he waits until free agency, now there's an extra year. Um, it, he he, uh, he loses a year, whatever, in free agency. So it, it sort of evens itself out. But I've heard the same thing from Ian that he's open to signing that extension, even though it would be leaving a substantial amount of money on the table. And think of, I mean, if you're Jalen Brunson, is there a better place in the world than the New York Knicks right now? I mean, he's got he's got his college teammates. He's got his father as an assistant coach. Um, he's got his father's buddy as the head coach. I mean, it's just the perfect. Situation. And he's running the city. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, he's he's doing, like national he commercials. Work. I was just about to say he's on. A, I was I was flipping the channel. I see him on an AT and T commercial. I was like, when did this yep. happen? Yeah, he's in national. He's in national television television commercials. He's on every billboard in the city. He's the biggest star in the city. I mean, you guys know when the Knicks are playing like this and they're up near the top of the Eastern Conference and they got a chance to make a deep playoff run. Everybody here's a Knicks fan. They're the biggest team in the city, and it's just it's the next few weeks are going to be really fun here and. Yeah, like there's no better job in the world than being the star player on the Knicks. Like, because if the Knicks are good, you can ascend to godhood. Like, it's, I mean, you look at Carmelo. We've joked about this at the games, right? Carmelo had an incredible career at the Knicks. He's a Hall of Fame player. He won one playoff series, and he's fed it every time he comes to the garden like he's Michael Jordan. Yeah. Like, (laughs) and and I'm not making fun of Carmelo. He had a great career. But, like, you you look at the situation there, and it's like, man, why don't more guys want to sign up for that? It's it's such an obvious uh, it's such an obvious thing to to have looks, that kind of situation. Well, it looks know, like Mikael Bridges it looks like Mikael Bridges might want to sign up for that. Not good. <laughs> you guys know though when you're struggling, it's probably the worst place to be if you're the top guy and the team's losing. Oh, that's true. You got to deal with well, stuff. Hold on, hold on. But the upside is worth well, it. Steph, Steph Marbury did not have a good tenure in new york i think it's safe to say and he was just applauded like crazy last night so yeah or yesterday so eventually they'll forgive yes eventually yeah the the time heals all wounds